The Persian New Year is celebrated by many worldwide, and here to educate us more about the celebration taking place right here in Chattanooga is Melanie Shakari. Great to have you here thank this morning. Thank you for having you me. You look beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so really, you know, give us kind of just a brief overview of, you know, this holiday, and then we'll talk more about the event that's actually coming up too, but I wanted to just talk, you look so pretty. Tell <laughs> well, us, thanks. educate us about this. Well, um, the Persian Empire was a really large area in the Middle yeah. East for a long time, thousands of years ago, and they used to celebrate their new year, which is what Noru's means, is really actually new day. Right. Uh, the first day of spring. Right. And so we think of new year, you know, starting in January, but, yes. it, but it really does. It means new, kind of like you said, new life and, and talking about really celebrating spring then. Yes. Okay. And so it's been, it's been around for a really long time. Um, and, um, you know, now most of uh, current day Persia is really kind of where Iran is, Afghanistan, some of those countries. And right. they still celebrate it. It's a non-religious holiday. It's uh, probably the biggest one every year. It's, you know, it's kind of like Christmas. Right. They even have a kind of a Santa Claus type character that gives money to children. And right. okay. um, I'm wearing kind of the traditional, very, very old dress that they used to wear. Now, um, where did you get this? So my mother actually got it and okay. brought it, and there's a children's version that was for me. This is actually hers right. um, that we'll probably have there for kids to try on because it's just okay. fun, mostly flowy um, because we like to dance. Right. <laughs> so and there will we'll be talk a lot about of this dancing. event because I know Betsy Smith. We're so fortunate to have yes. that center here, and they really pride themselves on you know education and and um, also with cultural events like this. So they're kind of co-sponsoring this event. Is yes, that right? they are. They are okay. a presenting sponsor. Um, they were really excited to have a cultural event, right. increase awareness. Um, and expose Chattanooga to something new and a little bit different. Right. We have we have a close knit Persian community here, and we have been you know celebrating New Year's every year for a long time. Right. Uh, but we really didn't let, you know kind of open it up to everybody. You um, said a lot of people were wanting to try the food, <laughs> yes. right? And you said I, I can't possibly invite them all to my. <laughs> my mother's a great cook, but that. we can't have everybody at, at our house. Right. Uh, and so I said, why not? Do something public. Why not have people come in, do a little bit more of the education? I mean, we dance and have a good time, and um, the food is amazing. Right. And so we're bringing in food from actually outside of Chattanooga because there are no Persian restaurants here. There and are so, some here, really. In, there in, aren't. There are not. There are not any. Okay, well, you may start something. With Maybe. This. <laughs> Maybe. So, what kind of food? Describe the food. I wish we had pictures. I know we said yeah. today, you said it would be a lot. That there's a lot that goes into preparing these items. It's, right? it's a ha like a half day. Event really? To cook. Wow. Um, but traditionally, kebabs, chicken, beef. Okay are the two common ones. Uh, rice, we'll have three, I think three different kinds of rice. So right. one with cherries and a little bit sweeter, one with saffron, and then another one I think with dill. Uh -huh. um, we're gonna have one of the stews. There's many stews, but I think we're just gonna be offering one. We'll have baklava and, and dessert. What is that baklava? I've heard of that one. It's, a, it's kind of a phyllo dough, that. pastry dough okay. with honey and pistachios Great. and walnuts. Okay. Um, delicious, but you know, very sweet. <laughs> and this is gonna be held at the Culture Center then. Yes. Give us all the details. So this. this will be on Sunday, March 19th at okay. 5 p.m. Uh, dinner starts probably around 6. We're gonna, we have tickets on sale at Eventbrite, and it's, it includes your dinner. Basically, we're just covering the cost of food. And uh, we're going to have a presentation and pictures that people can look at and you know, clothes that kids can try on because it's a kid-friendly event. And then uh, a dance, dancing portion that's going to be fun with lots of traditional music and um, just a good time. And right now, it's it's really looking like we have a really good mix of the Persian community as well right. as people that aren't a part of the community. And we're really excited. Right. Well, I know they are too. I had spoke with them at the Culture Center, so that is great. So we're going to pop up a graphic here. So if you are interested and want to get more information, you can definitely contact the Betsy Smith Culture Center to find out more. Four two three eight seven zero three seven one three. Thank you so much for being here, and we'll be right. Right back with more Let's Chat.